Welcome back to another video in our university application series. Today we'll be covering over how to choose which universities you should apply for, and I'll be going over the considerations you should make when you shortlist different programs when you apply to universities. So let's jump right in. Before we get started, I just want to say that these are some of the considerations you should make when you are applying to university. However, your situation may be different, so make sure to consider your own circumstances when you make that final decision. As well, if you haven't subscribed yet, make sure to do that down below, it really helps out the channel. So you might be wondering, why should I really think about which programs to choose for? Well, initially there are two main reasons. The first is time. You only have so much time to write applications, to fill out forms, to get the necessary information that universities require of you, and even for some there may be interviews or everything along the lines of that. So if you're applying to 20 different programs, that's simply unfeasible to accomplish all that in a busy grade 12 schedule while managing your extracurricular activities activities, hang out with friends, and just having time for yourself as well. And the second reason along that line is also the fees. For applications in Ontario and across Canada and most of the Western world, when you apply to a university, you have to pay a fee somewhere between $25 to $100. And so when you apply for a lot of programs, maybe for some of you, that's not a real issue, but it's a lot of money that you're sinking down. And for a lot of programs, if you're not even willing to really go into it once you get accepted, there's just no point in wasting that money into something that you just won't be committing yourself to. So those are the first two considerations you should make. The timing that you have to write applications and to fill out applications and the money that it costs to apply to all these different programs that you want to apply to. Once you understand that there are these two factors regarding time and money when applying to universities, what other considerations should you make when you make that final list of programs that you want to apply to? The first one is quite simply, what do you want to do in life. University is a place where you get the skill sets, you get the entry card certification to get into a program, a career that you will love. And so to ask yourself, am I more leaning towards the field of engineering? Am I leaning more towards, let's say, medicine or being a doctor or health or business or a whole bunch of different options that you have when you apply to university? So that's the main consideration. What career choice feels right for you? And when once you do your research on that, depending on the average workday for that career, salary for that career, where you might be working, how you might be working, who you might be working with, then you can answer that first question for yourself, which is, once again, what do you want to do in life? It's a very broad question, a very general question, and might be hard to answer when you're 17 or 18 year old and you're applying to university, but it's something you should consider, and you could always leave lots of paths open for yourself. So don't confine yourself in too early if you orange. The second consideration you should make when you are applying to university is to have REACH and safety programs. What this means by a REACH or safety program is based on the marks that you have for your top six or just your average in high school overall, what programs do you think you can apply to that you will enjoy where you have a 95% chance of getting in? Let's say your average is 75 and look for programs where they're only looking for an average of 70 or if you have a 90 average then your safety programs may be programs that only require an average of 80%. These allow you to, if everything goes wrong and all the universities that you would love to go to somehow turn down your application, you still have somewhere to go. And that's why they're called safety schools. It's, just, it's where you have a guarantee or near guarantee that you'll get in. But the chances if you do the math calculations of getting into a program, even if you have a 50% chance you apply to six of them, the chance of you getting into at least one of them is really, really, really hot. So these safety schools are just there in case everything and everything goes wrong at that time. REACH programs are programs where your mark and the average that they're looking for are pretty similar or the average that they're looking for is actually a bit higher. Say you have a 90% average and the program you're applying to needs a 95. Then that is a REACH program where your chances of getting in aren't super high but if you love the program and you feel that your application with your extracurricular activities and the things you'll write can boost you then 
definitely go for it. These are the programs where based on your average, it might be hard to get in, but definitely try for it if you love the program and you really want to be in it. I would say it's good to have two or three programs where you are pretty confident that you'll get in and a few where you're pretty confident that the chances of you getting in aren't that high. And then in between a lot of programs where you feel that you could have a decent chance of getting into. And the third consideration is how much you actually love that university. I know during a pandemic, it's hard to go on campus but try to find people where you can talk to them about just the atmosphere, the social life, everything about it. So you know what you're getting yourself into. Some universities might be really big, like the University of Toronto. And some universities might be a bit smaller where it's, you get to know a lot more people on a more intimate level. So it's really up to you based on what you feel the right atmosphere and environment is when you apply to the programs of your choice. The fourth consideration you should make is the love for the program. There are numerous reasons why you should consider this quite highly because you might love the university, you might love the career choice, but different programs at different universities, even if they're teaching technically the same thing, might cover a lot of different aspects. Some might be more hands-on, some might have more work experience, some might be more theoretical. It really depends. So you should read up on their information pages on the courses that they actually provide with that program and then compare that to other similar programs at different universities that you are also considering. And then you could really see which one fits you better. Because some might even offer co-op, which is a work placement during university. So you get to have the opportunity to go out into the workforce, into something in your career choice. But you could also consider other variations and factors as well. So definitely do your research on these factors when you look into your program of choice at different universities, because they might be very different based on where you are applying. So the fifth consideration is student life. University and learning, it's just one part of the entire experience. However, looking at the social life and all those aspects are also really important as well. These include extracurricular activities, athletics, and based on you, whether there's parties or anything along those lines. This is really a huge consideration for a lot of people because university is about meeting new people from different walks of life, different ways that also love what you love in terms of the academics, but you might love different things entirely outside of school. So definitely research into particular programs or extracurricular activities that you really enjoy at different universities to make your final choices. And finally, the last consideration you should make when you're applying to different university programs is the tuition and the residence if you are going to live on campus. Tuition is a big factor for a lot of people, and even though there's financial aid and scholarships and all that, sometimes the tuition is really high. For example, for me, even as a domestic student in engineering, I pay upwards of $16,000, $17,000 a year. And so for other programs, it might be less, but these are some of the things you should look at as well and see whether or not you have the financial aid options, whether or not you can acquire the scholarships, and whether or not you could get the loans to pay all of it off. So it's a really big consideration you need to make when you apply different programs, because some programs might offer the same things as other programs that they might cost two times as much. So those are some of the research factors you should look at. Into. And next, there's also residence as well. You might love a university that's halfway across the country, but it's so expensive to live there in terms of living fees, the residence costs, and everything else along those lines. And you might consider a smaller university and a smaller town that has a cheaper cost as well. So these are just some of the things that you should take into consideration when you look at the financials of university in general. Because at the end of the day, university is a place where you want to get a return on investment, where you want to put in money to to get a good education, to get an entry level job in the career that you absolutely love, and then you work from there. But if you're putting yourself in a financial hole because of it, you have to consider, should I consider other options or other programs that are available? And with that, those are all the suggestions and the tips I have when you apply to different universities, because all these factors are really important in determining what programs you ultimately apply to and the reasons that you take to apply to them. You don't want to apply to a program just because someone says it's good or you feel like it's good because you're going to spend a lot of time on that application, you're going to spend money on that application, and if you're not going to choose it at all, even if you get accepted, then it's just a waste of your time and your money. At the end of the day, make sure that you're applying to programs that you love, but also consider the real world implications of the career that you're going into. Whether it's a growing job market or a diminishing job market, take that into consideration. And finally, you have to consider the financials of it all. The tuition, the residence, if you're living on campus, and all those factors 
interest because ultimately university is a return on investment and you don't want to make a negative one so with that out of the way go out there do your research and come up with a great list of which programs you want to apply to and with that that ends this video I'll be making a bunch more videos about the university process I'll be going into the specifics of different university applications such as the University of Toronto Engineering and Waterloo Engineering among other things as well so subscribe stay tuned and we'll be back very soon